Now in Top Solid 2017, it's even easier to make custom symbols that are intelligent. In this video, we're going to explore what that might look like. So here what we're doing is we're looking at a custom symbol definition. And one of the things that we're doing is we are parameterizing the drivers for this custom symbol. By parameterizing these, what you're going to see in the long term is that you have a symbol that you can include in a draft environment, for example, or heck, even in a standard top solid design, and control it parametrically, have it look exactly the way you want it to look, and have it be totally customizable at that moment of insertion. The other cool thing that's happening here is I'm including multiple different symbols into this one defining document. This way, again, we have the best of all worlds. We have every symbol that we need drawn up any which way we see fit that it needs to be drawn. We have it constrained exactly as we need it constrained. And of course, the content within those symbols will be modifiable at the moment of insertion. So here we're just parameterizing the distance of how far this is off. Cool. And again, we're parameterizing it because based on the changes you make during insertion, you want this to move freely. But the other thing that we need to do is we need to define some sets. So here we have a set. And basically, we just want to make sure that we include that sketch and that sketch. Perfect. Like that. We can set a condition even. Why not? Where we have flag node equals true. Now, what does all of this mean? If flag node is equal to false, you're going to see it disappear. If it's set to true, then you're going to see it appear. And again, all of this long term is going to be usable as a family. And that family, when included into our draft document, for example, well, you'll get the idea. Let's have a look in real time what you can do with this. So for example, I'm going to open up a drawing sheet. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're going to edit the detailing. Um, can I get rid of these points because we don't need these points? And now I'm going to drag and drop my new symbol into here. And notice here in the window to the left are all of those drivers. This is why we parameterize things. There's that true or false. Do we want the flag note? Do we want it to have a different value, different length, different width? What is the flag note text supposed to be? We could change that to be something else altogether. At the end of the day, there's no limit to what you can do with these custom symbols. Now here we've included this symbol. We have another symbol that we're going to include as well. And this one is just to have a simple arrow and a cross. Okay, so here we have something called arrow two points. We drag it in. You can see this is just a, another family document of a custom symbol where we have a point and we have an arrow at the end. It's going to ask us for two driving points, which is kind of cool. And now we're going to include that arrow into that draft document. The arrow could be as bedazzled as you want, for example. You could draw whatever you need. But at the end of the day, all this is showing you is some simple samples of things you could do with the top solid symbol command. So here we're including this. I'm attaching it there, and I'm going to attach it right there. Presto, you have your arrow. You have your leader. You want another one? Drag and drop another one in. It's as easy as that. 